On Halloween, I don't only love to get dressed different, I also love it to make food that fits to the season. And this is where I will show you in this video healthy and sweet food. We start with this broomstick appetizer, therefore just roll a slice of cheese, cut some stripes into it and then secure it with a garden leek on a pretzel stick. For these pepper mummies, you would just cut your pepper in half, fill it with some cream cheese and then take some poof pastry, cut it into stripes and just roll it around these peppers. Then you will just use some eyes, maybe you'll find some or you can just use olives. Put some egg on it and place it in the oven at 175 degrees for about 10 minutes. After this appetizer we also need a little main dish, therefore just toast a toast and then put something red on it like tomato sauce, pesto or tomato hummus and then we will just cut some um, slices of cheese like this and secure them on this like a mummy. Then you will also need some eyes, I used these tomato things but you can also use olives or something else and then just place it on it. You can either make it in the microwave or leave it like this. Now we will get your deserts and here we will start with a really easy one. You just need this chocolate kisses or any other thing that looks equal to this and then just paint with some chocolate a face on it. The next one is also really easy. You just need some an Oreo cookies or something similar to this. Biscuits if you like to talk in British English. And yes, just separate them and paint with some melted chocolate or a chocolate pan some stripes on it and then add a smari or some food food thing that you can eat that has color and that's it you have got a nice eye you can place it on the muffin or just leave it like this and at last we will make some cake balls here use the basic recipe I always use so just use some cake and put it in make it in little pieces then we will add food coloring this is the special thing about it so add some red food coloring and then just mix it together now we will add our cream cheese when it looks like this so when everything is nice and red then add some butter at room temperature and some sugar and then just put everything together with your hands nap everything together till you have got a nice consistency like this and then just form some balls and place this in the oven uh, in the oven in the fridge for about half an hour next we will melt our white chocolate and it's easier when you already cut it into pieces and then you take such a stick or you can also use extra cake pop sticks but you can also use chashtag sticks, place them in your chocolate and then just put them in your cake pop. Place this in the fridge for also about half an hour and then when this is dried and really really secure, just place it in your again melted chocolate and then you can place this on such a place so stick it in there, this is more easy when it dries. Place it in your fridge for one hour and it's ready.